Well, finally the print shop scene arrived. I can tell you that was a very emotional episode. Now, I hate to admit it, but when Claire walked into Jamie's print shop there, it brought a tear to my eye. Hopefully my wife didn't see that. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because I'm getting old. I feel like a Jesse's blouse sometimes. But that was a really emotional scene. Well, I decided to bring you back to the scene of Jamie's print shop. The reason is I wanted to show you exactly where the print shop is. In a previous vlog, I showed you the actual clothes. But now I'm going to show you the actual door and the layout of Jamie's print shop. So I'm standing in the close where the print shop scene was done. Now there are several doors here and alleyways, but I'm going to show you the actual door that Claire walked up and into Jamie's print shop. Now in this scene it looked a bit different because I had a different stairway going up there. But those are the stairs and that's the door leading into Jamie's print shop. Now you might remember that when Claire walks into the print shop, she turns left, walks along the little corridor and then sees Jamie working down in a basement. Well, I'm going to show you how that relates to this building. So these are the stairs and obviously the entrance. Now when she enters the entrance, she turns left and walks along the corridor, which is that building there. And then she peers down at Jamie through a window, which is this floor here. So it's like a basement to the office. It's quite interesting when I come and visit these places, I uh, see a lot of Outlander fans from all over the world. Now I've just bumped into a, a very nice couple. The coincidence is that they actually follow my son on YouTube. Uh, he is Sean Vlog. Uh, most people don't realize that he's my son because he sounds so Scottish. But there you are. As soon as I mention him, then everybody knows exactly uh, who he is. Now there were quite a few changes from the book. Claire is actually in Scotland at the time along with her daughter. Now in the TV series all you see is Claire appearing staring at a puddle from her carriage. Now the producers explained this away because it was too expensive to try and recreate the scene again and they wanted to save time as well. So they made Claire travel through a puddle of water and change the story from the original book. So another reason for getting Claire to just appear in a coach just outside the print shop was that they claim that there was too much story to tell and it would take too much time in the episode. Now, one of the reasons is that they wanted to spend more time with the reunification of Claire and Jamie. But as we all know, that took all of 30 seconds. Now, although the buildup was quite emotional, it seems a shame that they cut out the standing stones again. But I believe these are going to be used in a future episode. I've just got one complaint about this episode, and that's the Batman music. Now, this is when Claire's busy designing her own dress. Now, I'm sorry, but Batman music just doesn't fit and square up with Outlander. It just didn't work for me. So, I don't know. I don't know if they were trying to bring a, a lighter moment to the episode, but to the producers, no. That didn't work. Please don't do that again. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there were two Easter eggs planted in this episode. Now, the first one is the bones that Claire was inspecting. And the second Easter egg was inside the print shop. Now, if you spotted that Easter egg, just drop a comment below and see if you guessed it. Now, the first Easter egg regarding the bones in Claire's office there. Now, me and my family had a big discussion about these bones and who they represented. Now, some of my family think that was Claire's future. But I have a sneaky suspicion that is not the case. Now, I think this is Gaelis Duncan because she does make a reappearance. And I know it's going to throw some of you, but uh, she has a big part to play in the episodes that are going to be coming up. Now, once again, she's in the role of a really bad person. So I suspect somebody did her in, and everybody in my family thinks it's somebody else. 
but I put my money on Gaylis Duncan. So it's just about to rain, as usual. I'm going to give you a very quick tour of some of the closes that we've got in the Royal Mile, just to give you a feel of what it must have been like living in those days. Just by the way, if you're looking for a pub in the Royal Mile, there's one on every corner. First place I'm going to take you in is Tweedale Court. Now the reason I'm bringing you back to this particular court is because this features heavily in the next episode, a Malcolm. This is typical of the closes and courts of those days. As you can see, the Royal Mile has got loads of buskers. I would have thought that uh, come the end of the summer they would have been all gone, but obviously not. Surprisingly, Edinburgh is still heaving. You can imagine what it would have been like living on top of each other in these closes. Just as I'm passing, this is a really famous pub, the Deacon Brodies. Like I said, there's a pub on every corner here. But this one in particular is quite famous. So if you want to find out more about Deacon Brody, just Google him. But the irony is that he was hanged in 1788 and he actually designed his own gallows. Edinburgh is full of history. And if history and ghost tours is your thing, then a Royal Mile is where you need to be.
of this building behind me is one of the oldest buildings in the world now. Many hundreds of years old. Say it again, I'm absolutely shocked about how many tourists are still in Edinburgh. So it just shows you something has changed. It's the Outlander effect as we call it here in Scotland. All the tourist venues in Edinburgh are up by 40%. So thank you Outlander, you've put Scotland back on the map again. So I think I've shown you enough closes. There's literally hundreds that you can explore yourself. So if you're ever coming to Royal Mile, you're gonna spend the entire day exploring, that's for sure.